Good morning everyone. Mark Lee with Runway Lees. On this video we're going to be going to the Smokies and hiking the Baxter Creek Trail to the Mount Sterling Fire Tower and Backcountry Campsite 38. We're fixing to leave the apartment. We've got the backpacks loaded up and ready to go. Let's do it. parked at the Big Creek Trailhead and uh, we're fixing to hit the trail. We are hiking the Baxter Creek Trail. This is also part of the Benton Mackay Trail, which is about 300 miles from Springer Mountain in Georgia to the Big Creek Trailhead here. So this is the northern terminus of the Benton Mackay Trail. It's going to be about uh, six miles to the Mount Sterling Fire Tower and Backcountry Campsite 38, where we're staying at. Over the six miles we're hiking today, the trail steadily climbs around 4,200 feet of elevation all the way to the Mount Sterling Fire Tower. It's supposed to be a very similar hike to hiking Katahdin in Maine, the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. We're still climbing, about a mile and a half in, and starting to pick up some views at least through the trees. As you just saw, we had a little friend in the middle of the trail or to the side of the trail and he was uh, holding on to his spot. We had to kind of coax him off to the side a little bit so we could get by. We're about halfway done with the climb to Mount Sterling. Got about another 1,400, 1,500 feet of elevation gain, uh, about another two and a half miles or so. Almost there.
we're getting up there now getting into the spruce and fir forest looking out over the rest of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park this climb has just been continuously uphill the whole way so if you hike the Baxter Creek Trail be ready for a workout All the moss through here has been crazy. It's beautiful. It's the uh, reason we took, decided to take this trail in the first place. So, kind of making it worth it. <laughs> just got our water all filled up we're about a quarter mile away from the Mount Sterling fire tower and the campsite so if you're taking another trail besides Baxter Creek trail uh, the water is going to be about a quarter mile away and then it's 700 feet straight down off the trail uh, to this little pipe spring here so just uh, keep that in mind This is the Mount Sterling Fire Tower, the highest elevation fire tower east of the Mississippi River, built in 1935 by the CCC. This is also the highest point on the Benton Mackay Trail. We're at the top of the Mount Sterling Fire Tower. It's just as sketchy as everyone said it is, but we're glad we got to come up here and see it. Beautiful view. We have already ate dinner, getting the tent all set up, getting everything ready to go to bed for the night. We'll uh, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We're in the top of the Mount Sterling Fire Tower. And Watching the sunrise come up. It's going to be a great day. Alright, this is our camp spot. Carrie's in the tent getting all the stuff packed up. Little fire rings, some logs to sit on. Then right over there is the fire tower a pretty good spot there's a lot more uh, back here in the trees but they're not level or not very big uh, luckily we were the first ones here so we kind of got a choice of our site Okay, we've got the site all packed up, everything's clean, leaving nothing behind, and we are fixing to head back down.
besides the fire tower, we really enjoyed the changes of scenery on this trail. Started off at the bottom with a temperate rainforest kind of feel through old growth hemlock forest. Unfortunately, most of them appeared to be dead. Uh, some beautiful rhododendron tunnels. And then at the very top, this beautiful moss covered spruce fir forest up to the fire tower and where we camped at. Very beautiful. Gotta love these rhododendron tunnels, especially on a hot day. We're a little more than halfway back. Going down's been certainly a lot better than going up yesterday. Uh, it's seemed though over like the last half mile though, the humidity has went way up, so it's starting to get hot. When we get down, we're gonna have us a little picnic lunch and head back to the house. crossing the bridge over Big Creek back to the picnic area and trailhead. It's time to find us a table and fix up some lunch. We're starving. Buffalo chicken pita wrap with barbecue twist Fritos. It's awesome. We're ending the day on a good note, dipping our feet in Big Creek. It is cold, but it feels good to the feet. All right, we're back in the car. Gonna wrap it up. The Relive app showed it 5.8 miles uh, from Mount Sterling back down. The sign says 6.2 miles and the map said about 5.7, so somewhere in there. 4,200 feet of elevation gain and we felt every bit of it. So for this trail, if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge, it's definitely your trail, very beautiful along the way with the reward of the fire tower at the end. Thanks for coming along with us and we're gonna end the video with some pictures that Carrie took. If you're uh, interested in any of them or like any of them, you can go to fineartamerica.com and view her page on there, Carrie Lee Photography. See you next time.